Wanna be on top? Na 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 with tree boom. Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and happy Sunday. I hope that y'all are having a great Sunday all together and I hope that y'all have a great week. Are y'all liking this new camera by the way? Did y'all notice? But yeah, I just got a new camera. I'm so excited about that. And I just wanted to make sure that the quality was even better for you guys. But today, I'm really just going to do a long pony. Like, I haven't had a long pony in a long time. I was just looking through my old pictures, scrolling through. I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't had a ponytail in a long time. So that's what I'm going to do today. And we're really going to hop right into it. So we're going to actually start off by blow drying my hair. Actually, let me show y'all what my hair is looking like right now under this um, bonnet. It. so this is what my hair is looking like as soon as I take it out the bonnet and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna comb through my hair just a little bit because I'm gonna go through with the blow dryer just to stretch it out even more and I'm actually gonna split my hair up into four and I'm going to use this Chi Silk Infusion. But this is supposed to be like a heat protectant my friend Aaliyah put me on. So shout out to Aaliyah. I hope that this works out good. This is my first time. Well, I've used Chi in the past, but I haven't used it in a while, to be honest with you. When I would use other heat protectants, it would just cause my hair to get heat damage. So, yeah. I hope that this works out pretty good, but I haven't been flat ironing my hair. If y'all saw my last video, if y'all haven't, make sure y'all check that out. I flat ironed my hair for the first time in 11 months since my big chop. I did a big chop in December of 20, 2019. And this is how much growth I have so far. And it's been, at this point, it's been 12 months. Well, almost 12 months. On Christmas, it'll be 12 months because I actually cut my hair on Christmas Day. I was just going through it, y'all. Y'all know how it be. But yeah, just comb through your hair. Make sure you detangle it good. And really comb the nape area and everything. So yeah. And split this into two. And I'm going to clip these away for now and detangle. Do the same thing to the front. Detangle the front. Flip that away and do the other side. This is how much shedding I got all together. I don't know if y'all care or not, but I just like to show y'all just so y'all can know. Now I'm going to go in with this Chi. Take like a dime size. Oh, it's not even open. <laughs> Let me open this up. This smells good. Okay. Okay, Chi. But yeah, I'm just going to use ooh, a really small amount. Just about that much. And I might use this on two sections. I'm not sure. Let me see how it looks in my hands first. That's what it looks like. So it's, it's actually a really light um, serum. It's lighter than what I expected, to be honest. I know I used it in the past, but I haven't used it in such a long time. So I forgot how lightweight this was. So this would be good for like if you want to blow dry your hair or anything. Which is what I'm doing right now. Even though it looks kind of straight, I want it to be um, blown out a little bit more. I wasn't going to go on with the flat iron again, that's for sure. Because I don't want to get heat damage. So yeah, this is my um, blow dryer. I'll put it on warm. And then I'm going to put it on high speed. Not doing too much. And that's perfect. Yeah. And then I'm going to do the front. Put the dime size amount. repeat these same steps from this side on this side and then I'm gonna come back to y'all okay so I finished my whole head I blow dried everything 
So now I'm going to get into this part because I want to do a side part. At first I was in between if I wanted to do a middle part or a side part. But y'all know, y'all know the struggle. I think I'm going to do the side part though. So I'm going to take my rat tail comb. I got this from Tyson, my local beauty supply store. But you can also get this from Sally's if y'all have a Sally's or even Walmart, I'm sure. So I'm just parting my hair, trying to see how far or how deep I want the part. Okay, so now that I have this part, this is what it's looking like. I do need to oil, put some oil on my scalp and put some grease on there, but I plan on doing that. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit of this grease, this old grease. And I'm going to put it directly on that part. And honestly, I'm going to go through really quickly and put some on um, my scalp. Because my scalp is dry. Hey, I finally finished. But a happy scalp is a happy head of hair. More of the story. I know this probably weighed down my hair some, but I plan on washing my hair soon anyway. So I'm really not tripping about it. Now it's time to lay this ponytail. So I'm going to take off the back first. I'm going to just comb it out. Let me just comb out my whole head. So now I'm just going to section off this front piece, <clears throat> just like that. So I'm going to clip that up, section off this side. So now I'm going to split this hair in half, just so it's like not a big clump of hair that I'm trying to work with like a large section but rather like this section then this section so i'm gonna take my mary's edge wax and i take a pretty generous amount to be honest with you like i know i'm probably gonna use more than this gonna move on to this section and try to quickly comb it over add in some more So this is what it's looking like. I'm going to take two and I'm not going to make it too, too tight, but because I still have to spray the like pump it up on there, the spritz on there, but I'm going to actually put it into a pretty good ponytail. The spritz that I use is this pump it up spritz. I'm not sure if y'all have seen this before. I'm going to spray the spritz directly on my hair. I'm going to go in with this blow dryer just to make sure that it's drying and it can harden. I'll start brushing and comb it. Now I'm going to take that ponytail back out and put it back in even more secure. And make sure you don't make it too tight because whenever it's time to like go to sleep and everything, you don't want it to be hurting whenever you're trying to like lay down or you don't want it to be an inconvenience or make your head hurt. So 
yeah but yeah i'm just combing through my hair and i'm actually gonna take out my edge my edges my edge part because i know i love to lay my edges so i don't want to suck it into the ponytail but yeah so i'm just taking out my edges i'm actually gonna section off this part so that it can have the effortless but cute look you know i love leaving out my um side my like side burns and stuff and my baby hairs if you want you can really just twist this off or do whatever i'm gonna add a little twist literally a little twist and then i'm going to repeat those same steps i'm going to use this this wax and then i'm gonna use the spritz and then keep combing it into this ponytail so as y'all saw i went through each section and put the product and i didn't comb it i mean i didn't brush it and i'm but i'm going to right now and y'all see it laid down pretty nicely But you really have to know how to work your hair because not everybody's hair is the same. Your hair might not lay this way. You might have to start combing through each section as you put that, um, that product on there. But I knew that my hair would lay down pretty good if I um, went through but didn't comb each section. And I'm using the back of my comb and just really smoothing it down, you know really getting in there now that that is done make sure that this part is cleaned up nicely you know and pushed into the ponytail and you have an option of taking out these ponytail holders that you already have in and um putting them back on or you can add another one on top but i'm just gonna just take these two out so that I don't have to keep adding ponytail holders and possibly tangling up my hair until I get over here I might add one more ponytail holder but as of now it's not necessary and I want to make sure that these neck baby hairs are really in the pony And I know people do their neck baby hairs, but I don't know, you know, <laughs> I can barely see behind me. And this way it's looking like so far, by the way. And don't worry, we're going to lay these edges. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to also leave out this side, so don't forget that. Make sure it's even. Make sure you lay it the right way because if you want it to have like a swoop, then you'll have to like start combing your hair down and then, you know, creating a little swoop like this. Like I would recommend already laying the swoop and then adding the product just so you can make sure this is how you want it so i want it to look like this for example so this is how i'm gonna lay my um product
And now I'm going to add the wax directly to like the end so it can lay down. So as y'all can see, I put it on my the end so that they can lay down as much as possible before I go on with my brush. Now I'm going to take my bobby pins and I'm going to put some bobby pins on here. We're on our last section. So I'm gonna take this ponytail out for the last time and then really make sure everything is in place. And I'm gonna take these two scrunchies and I'm gonna go around. So this is what I'm looking like. That part is done now we can move on to these edges really quickly and i'm gonna use my got to be glued gel the ultra gel but yeah i'm just brushing so what i did sorry i took a, a little dab and then i put it on my edges and brushed them down just like this and these i'm gonna actually like end up flattering it so now I'm just going to take my finger and start to sculpt out my edges, really fleek them out, do them how I like, and then drag it into the ponytail like that. And then do the same thing. But keep that part down though. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, just add a little scoop. Now that that is complete, I'm going to go ahead and put this scarf on so it can be laying down while I do my ponytail. I'm not going to do my side burns until the very end because that's like one of my favorite parts. So now that I have this scarf on, I'm going to take this braiding here right here. So it's two sides and I like to split one side in half. The hair does get tangled. So now I'm going to take my ponytail and just connect it as best as I can, you know. But right here is good. And I'm just going to add this, this scrunchie on. So now I have this braid and I'm just going to cut it about right at my collarbone really. And remember this braid doesn't have to be perfect. And now it's time for the fun part. We almost done. We almost done. So I went to Tyson like I've been telling y'all my local beauty supply store. And I got this hair. What kind of it? The shake and go. <laughs> French wave and I got this in um 24 inches by the way so this is what the hair is looking like it's pretty cute okay Ooh, it's pretty long and I'm actually gonna double weft it which means that I'm gonna put I'm just gonna fold one weft over the other to make sure that it's like two as you can see it's two so this means that it's double width at the end where i connected it is where i'm going to like split the hair like split a section off of the hair and put it against the ponytail that i made and then i'm going to take one of these rubber bands i'm going to take one of these rubber bands and wrap it around the section that i made 
and my hair. Just that part though. So now it's secured that way. And I'm just gonna start wrapping the hair around the um around the braid. Going upward in an upward motion. And then occasionally you can stop, get you a bobby pin, and put it through. Just like that. And once you reach the top, you can add another bobby pin because I'm going to go in with another bundle. But I'm not going to double with it. I'm just going to use one with. I'm going to use another bobby pin to connect this end. Like this. I'm just going to put the bobby pin in there. And start wrapping. And then you see the end right here? I secure it with a bobby pin. We'll take a piece from over here, brush it out, and I'm gonna start to wrap it around. Grab the pump it up, spray and spray it directly on this part right here. So I'm gonna blow dry it. So this is what the hair is looking like. It's looking cute. Okay, so we're almost done. Let me add some, let me put on some Vaseline because my lips been chapped this whole video. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Now we can do these sideburns before even taking this off because we don't even have to take this off yet to do our sideburns because we want to make sure it's as delayed as possible. So, you know. So, as you can see, I just combed through this sideburn. And now I'm taking this. It's hot too. This is my um, crimper. And I'm just going to. Flat iron it low key. Y'all see how quick that flat iron? How easy it did? And that was just one pass. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay. I'm actually gonna brush them down a little bit. Just like this, you know. Just to make sure that they're laid. So now it's time to take this off. We got to see what we working with. Ooh. So this is the look. This is the final result. Let me see what the back is looking like. Pony. I hope that y'all like this video. Let me know what y'all want to see in the future. I'm trying to get back into doing my hair more without, because lately I've been doing protective styles really, but um, I'm about to start showing y'all how I really style like my natural hair and everything. So let me know what y'all want to see in the future and I'm gonna definitely deliver for y'all. I hope that y'all like these results. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I want to thank y'all for all of the support and all of the love that I've received so far, honestly. And I really want to thank God. So let me know what y'all think about the results. And until next time, bye.